What we're seeing is an absolute explosion of not only innovation and science, but also an investment in the knowledge economy. Individuals from all walks of life are finding Detroit a good place to not only live, but also come and visit. Someone like the Kresge Foundation turns to Eric Larson, turns to Anika goss at Detroit Future City, turns to Knowledge Keepers. When 375 was put in 56 years ago, it erased a neighborhood, and now we have an opportunity to rethink that. There are about 30 acres that are going to come online as a result of the construction of I-375. You can't treat a project such as this as just a transportation project. It's mobility access. It's access to opportunity. It's cultural access. The I-75 project is adjacent to it, but very different. We felt that DDP and its role as convener could help bring the downtown community better together to have a conversation about possibilities for what reconnecting both sides of I-75 might look like. Please do take to heart remaining engaged. This is the generational opportunity to make sure that we are including the voices of residents, businesses. I think an important way to arrive at that is really to have very intentional and purposeful dialogue to arrive at this shared definition of success. The eyes of the nation are on Detroit with these types of projects. I think it's a great opportunity for us as a community to demonstrate leadership around all these projects can be, but again, it takes all of us coming together to make them successful. Can't thank the four of you enough for everything that you're doing. Appreciate the commitment to our community that's represented on this stage.